Hi! Oh my god, Chaos here again, and with another a new drone of training a tech profile, and this time I am showing my uh, resonator tech I used uh, in that series. So, yeah, this tech is uh, it's definitely pretty nice, uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't really have still enough support for it to be, um, I guess, competitive. But yeah, so I guess uh, let's go this tech. Of course, first resonators themselves, so first one dark resonator, one graystone resonator, because you can uh, special summon it if you control a le level 8 or higher Synchro Monster, then one flare resonator, which gives your Synchro Monster a uh, 300 attack, then probably one of the best uh, resonators, a uh, free rare resonator, level 2 tuner, and if you normal summon this card, you can summon a level 4 or lower monster from the hand. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely re really nice. Then one four resonator as an extra uh, level two resonator tuner. Then three sync resonator. I think this is pretty much the best uh, resonator. I think because if you control a sync monster, uh, you can uh, special summon this card from, from the hand, and also uh, if it sends them from the fifth field to the graveyard. You can add a resonator from the graveyard to your hand, so that's very nice. And one chain resonator, uh, if you normal summon this card, while there's a, there is a synchro monster on the field, you can summon the resonator most of them from the deck. So this is very good for uh, double tuning plays. Then a free red wolf, uh, if you uh, normal summon resonator monster, you can uh, spell someone this card on hand, but attack it it becomes hard. But that's not not really that relevant because you, you are going to synchro someone anyway. So it combos well with your, with your level two uh, resonators mostly. And then free red sprinter, of course, makes some one card um, synchros. So that's definitely pretty good. Um, then free primitive butterfly, uh, definitely really good because it's a level five monster. You can a uh, special summon, and those you can make its level six, so it's very versatile. So it uh, comes with well with both level three and level two resonator tuners. And uh, then I run two the pre dragon. Uh, there are a few uh, combinations that uh, you can use. With this card, you can, for example, revive Samsara, Dragon Rebirth to go into uh, Abyss, or you can uh, revive your um, uh, Flare Resonator to go with uh, go with uh, uh, level. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly, but yeah. Or I, I mean, uh, the Breed Dragon reviving a uh, four senator go go with a level four monster, yeah, combos like that, or reviving uh, a synchro senator to go with a level five monster, so yeah, to go into your uh, Red Dragon Ashven Tyrant. So there are a few interesting things you can do with this card for sure. Then three resonator cool, of course, search out all the resonators, definitely really good. Then free instant vision, of course, either summon a Parsec Panzer Dragon to, of course, go for your level 8 Synchro with uh, your level 3 Resonators, or of course, just summon Northern and do some plays with that. Then two Tint Twisters, of course, really good. Of course, this uh, can can have poor problem with, with back row, so that's very nice. And traps, first King's Continents. Uh, basically, you synchro someone from the graveyard, and then of course negate attack if your opponent declares the direct attack. And then one reject reborn, uh, stops the battle phase if your opponent attacks directly, and then you can summon a tuner monster and a synchro monster from the graveyard. That's really, really nice for sure. Then free call of taunted, of course, more revival, then free some strike, swallow warning, and bottom strap hole. Then the extra deck. First, a uh, hot red announcement King Calamity. Of course, yeah, summon it by double tuning. 
I'm just using a a non tuna dog dragon type monster monster Junker monster. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Definitely. Then one red and one dragon. I think still pretty pretty, pretty nice card. Then one uh, red Rangeman Tyrant. Uh, this requires two tuners and one or more non tuner monsters. So it's a, a little bit easier to summon than uh, Red Nova and uh, King Calamity. And so its effect is pretty much Judgment Dragon. Uh, and uh, it can negate uh, special traps in the battle phase as well. So definitely a pretty decent card. Then uh, Hot Red Nova's Ashwin Bane. Uh, really good as well to revive your uh, red dragon archman monsters from the graveyard and also sets up your double tuning plays then two uh, hot red dragon archman this i think it's pretty much the best uh, red dragon archman upgrade basically because it can negate any face of card uh, on the field and so you can be chain any to anything like a normal 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 spell or normal trap card or any monster effect so definitely very nice and it's the easiest to summon then of course a hot red arrangement goes really good a scarlight dragon arrangement also really good and uh, of course the classic red dragon arrangement then the level 7 swing cross and clearing Sugar dragon and black cross dragon then the only level 6 swing cross red wyvern which is pretty good, and then uh, one level 5, some sort of uh, dragon rebirth, because of course it's a uh, level 5 dark dragon synchro. Then there were instant fusion targets, uh, Panzer Dragon, and Elder Entity Northern. So this was my uh, uh, resonator uh, uh, deck uh, uh, for a uh, new Dawn of Phoenix series. I think I will still keep playing uh, this deck. I might even build it in real life, not sure yet. I think this deck definitely has potential, but uh, would need more support, for sure. Uh, but I'm not sure if it gets su new support since, the, of course, the Synchro Arc in Arc 5 has been over for some time. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, new Dawn of Tuning deck profile. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omakios, um 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 out.